Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Difficulty Locked, the series in which I do quests in order of difficulty. This week we're going to try and do three quests, starting with me, talking with Barrack here, because I need to do, I need to get in the Phoenix Gang, because we're doing Shield of Rav. Phoenix Gang, shh 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 shh, not allowed. So you, uh, blah, 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 I, he, okay, plausible deniability, he wants... Damn it, I... Okay. Yep. Okay, so you gotta go to the play... Yeah, so... He, he just sells them out. Immediately. Cool. Thanks. So yes, he took 20 gold, and we run down. Not... This isn't exciting. I might not I even leave this in the video. Let's bash him. I'm sorry, future me, for making you edit this down. What's through that door? Hey, you can't go in there. I wanna... Let me in. Really? Well, who are we? I love that he's just so smug about it. Near the headquarters for the... Oh, that's a nice thief. Near the headquarters for the Phoenix Cat. No, this is a legitimate business run by a supposedly... God. I want to offer my service. Okay. <laughs> Sketch. This is sketchy. Okay, let me prove my loyalty. Obviously, I would have no, but supposedly meeting with a contact. Blue Moon Inn is just about the south. I know where. Okay, name of the contact is Johnny the Beard. Okay, he's really laying it on thick here. He's like, I, I don't know anything about anything, but if you want to do this, you should kill this one guy. I'm like, sure, boss. Right on it, boss. Johnny the Beard. Talk to Johnny the Beard. Johnny the Beard is not interested in talking. Then he will die! Ooh, yeah. Hey! <laughs> Level 11 magic. I wish I could have seen what I can do with that, but Johnny punched me, so I killed him. Try to keep the bones. Excuse me, barkeep. I can't, this is not a good camera angle. I wanted to be like, hey, barkeep, and do like a bit where I order something at the bar. No, the camera still follows me though. Hey, buddy. I got the intelligence report. Give it, he reads it. That's just very good. I, okay. It's time for sleuthing and by by sleuthing, I mean looking at the place where I know where it is, because I did this quest like t three times when I was younger. I don't know why, though. I don't remember it giving anything good. So we go over here, search the chest. You search the chest. You find half of the shield. And also, these are my grapes. Those are mine now. Again, I love grapes. I love books. Look at that, a similarly equipped person who just happens to be here. I'm going to use this key on them. So we take the shield. He, this guy's freaking out because he's like, you have the what? Oh, I saw it. You have the what? This girl's just like, why are they being so loud? I'm like, okay, yep, here. Here's half a shield. This guy's like, cool. Missing 25 years. Okay. My character asked for two halves of the shield. Two half. Whatevers. Yeah, so apparently you can drop the Phoenix crossbow over. Uh, you can drop the Phoenix crossbow over to literally anyone, including people who don't need it. Like this account right here. This this one right here doesn't need a Phoenix crossbow. And oh hell yeah. I don't know what this one is. Yo, I just got so many audio tracks from that. Okay, here, have a present. Okay. Oh, goodness! That is nice! That's not the best it can be, but yeah. I'm gonna use half certificate. Yep. Use half certificate. Yep. 
Thank you, mysterious stranger. You're welcome. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. I come for the reward of Shield of Rav. Here's my ticket. Us. Uh, do you. Oh, money. Cool. I got money, I got quest point, and I've completed Shield of Rav. That's one of the three quests I want to do complete. Cool. We're rolling up today on Draenor Manor. Veronica's here again. She's like, hey, you gonna, you gonna see my husband this time around? And I'm like, yeah, actually. She's like, oh, oh thank you. I'm like, yep, this is gonna be painful for me. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Pretty sure that's the evil tree. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, that's, that's cool. I, I did it. If I, let's go find Ernest, I mean, let's just do what I remember doing as a child. Because I played, oh, ooh, a chicken. Oh, I could kill that for feathers. Um, hey, uh, Professor Hotstein. I'm looking for this guy, you know, um, crazy guy. Ah, he's been helping me. Where is he then? He's that chicken. Hmm, Poltimorph. His Poltimorph machine. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> this is wait but he wouldn't lay eggs unless okay machines house gremlins okay i agree to go look for the thing they've taken the oil can the rubber hose and the other bit presser gauge yeah because i like this quest is easy except for one part of it Ooh, poison i remember what to do with that Okay, okay, I guess we're doing the annoying bit first. I was gonna write out everything, but I'm just gonna record myself doing this flipping. This one, close it. No! Ooh, 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 ooh! I figured it out! I figured it- I am so smart, I feel so good about myself. This is so amazing. Yes! Yes! Literally, probably going to be the hardest part of the quest for me. So, the final so the final entry you want is a, uh, a, a is up, B is up, C is down, D is down, uh, E is up, and F is down. Apparently. I like that they're lit. I love that they are labeled, although it would be nice if the doors were labeled. Now I can do stuff that I actually remember how to do. Like, uh, go do the thing with the fish tank. So, what is in the fountain? Show me what is in the fountain. There's a presser, pressure gauge and the piranhas. So, screw you piranhas. Die. And then die and flow to the surface. Yoink. Let's do the thing I always do when I'm confused, which is just go talk to the quest NPC. And he doesn't answer anything. Thanks. So come up here. Hey, hey buddy, how do I do the quest? Go do it. Thanks. I'm a chicken. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> I just remembered. The compost heap. Oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, because look. Look. Look at this guy's outfit. That guy. That guy is a farmer, obviously. He's got, like, overalls. He looks like a gardener. I think he's the previous gardener of the estate. <gasps> Spade. Spade. I really dig this item. Really hope you would. This is what happens when I record for too long. Jeesh. I would really appreciate. Uh, fungus joke. I would really appreciate, you know, if you subscribe to my channel. I used the guide last time I did this quest, but that was about a year ago. Maybe even more. Door. This door. I open the door. I take the tube. What? First strike. That's a lot of health. Oh, he gives. He gives. He's got just bonus health for some reason. A daring fight. Put, uh, editing me, put volatile reaction over this so it sounds more epic. Like. Okay, cool. Bones. That was some nice magic experience. Like, okay. So I assumed, 
last episode while I was doing Demon Slayer that... Oh, wait. I need to go this way. Last episode during Demon Slayer that the reason why my attack level was reduced is because of the weakened spell from the Dark Mages when I had been chugging wines, which lower your attack level. I'm just kind of a fool. I have everything. Give them here. And he goes, and he... His animation... Is there an animation? Ooh. Oh. Cool. Cash reward is always nice. I... <laughs> oh. Okay. Cool. I skipped the screen, but I can, I can edit so I hold on to it. But, yeah. That's another quest complete. Cool. That's quest number two for today. Now, next on the list, the Corsair Curse. Which I am, luckily, close to Bloomington, so I'll just go do that. Yo, okay, so I, like, quick, quick pause. I was just hanging out. I wanted to, you know, set up to, um, AFK for, like, log out and then be close to where I was going to be. So, as you can see, this is here. Um, and I found this thing. So, I have to melee anything. I'm going to use this, even though I can... Is it the mithril already? But, you know, who has time to go get a mithril? Skimitar. I don't, apparently. Yeah. His crewmen are not having the best of days, so I'm going to go over and help them, because that's what I do. I help people. Never has this character done anything morally gray, or maybe even... I don't know. I, I'm being sarcastic. Okay, here's the guy. Here's the cook. Oh, my stomach. Oh, my tinderbox. There you got one. I suspected. I, I don't know. I don't know what I need. So I just brought some random stuff. I hear you were cursed. Ah. Oh, there's two people. Okay. Hey, cabin boy. I hear you've been cursed. He's sitting here like, hey, buddy. What's up? He's like, I'm cursed. He say. Go talk to Ethel. Hey, I hear you've been cursed. I think so. That navigator warned us that this kind of thing was possible. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. They all think I should talk to the Navi. So I'm going to go pick up this meat. And oh, there's not a skimitar. But I already have one. Aha. Cursed. Okay. Um, I hear you've been cursed. And he rambles about it and he shouts about it cursed and he's just like yeah but i'm cursed okay i remember how to do this quest I i've killed demon he's talked about demon i killed demons i can yep yep he's a pirate all right this quest is easy this quest is super easy okay that guy thinks it's his fault because he was exploring some caves with his brother and this guy thinks it's all his fault because he talked to a mermaid and he was using the telescope. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? You're the most lovely person I've ever seen. That's how I imagine him talking like me. Okay, he's kind of just a doof, ain't he? Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Oh, gosh. Come on, buddy. Yep. Mm hmm. I'd like this cutscene to be over now. Maybe she doesn't like strangers sounding at her appearance and blowing kisses at her. That might have been rude of me. Okay. Okay. He saw it during the night time and I'm here in the daytime. <gasps> Gasp. Maybe, maybe I, a keen sighted adventurer, look at my, look at my beautiful black, solid black eyes. Let's look for the mermaid. I want to see a beautiful mermaid. Show me a beautiful mermaid. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. That's an ogre. Hey, buddy. What's afflicting you? His stomach. Oh. He's been cursed. What did he... Why did he say he was cursed? Uh, it's all my fault. I've woken... Okay, what are you talking about? I'm the cook. I have to find food. So he was fishing. 
fishing like a mad lad for the boys. Oh, his name is Noki, which is like a... <laughs> Abby lobby, Abby lobby, ooey, ooey, ooey. Good for him. It's a traditional lobster fishing chant handed down by my ancestors. His ancestors, you hear? Oh no, oh, it's a... That's clockwork. It's very obviously clockwork. Okay. Okay. In the sand, by the tree, west of here. Good thing I have a spade. Here? Here? I didn't actually hear what he said, because I went so fast. Cursed all. Buried in the sand. This is why this is why you don't use a guide, because if you use a guide, you have to listen to what the people are saying, and if you listen to what the people are saying, you get the story! Oh my gosh! Alright. Wait, this is the east of the cove. I'm... <sighs> you know, okay, well, we're over here. Let's go find the captain and talk to the captain about what happened. Captain! Cruise full of idiots. So I take the thing, and I'm gonna give it back, and it's gonna be like a toothpick or something. I'm just gonna dig around a couple times, any spots that look like in the cutscene. There's a fishing spot here. Search for the possessed doll. Yep. Clockwork. Knew it. See, that's what happens. Oh. <laughs> okay. Rest in peace, that doll. Okay. Now we gotta talk to the ogres. We hopefully will not ruin my status. She's right there. I'm such an idiot. Okay, there's the chief. Uh, chief, here's this. Yep, climb down, big vine. Here, here it is. There's the thing. It's a toothpick. Yep, yep. I'm sure. I'm sure it's a toothpick. I knew. I knew it. Are you kidding me? I just almost like I drank eleven wines and ate some meat. Yep, it was a clockwork toy. Yep, still trying. Okay. Hey, cabin boy. Uh, it was a wet ogre. Definitely not a mermaid. Hey, you guy. It wasn't your fault either. You're just an idiot. I'm a good person, by the way. Hey, hey, I tested all those things you told me to. Yeah, that sounds sketch. See ya. Any sufficiently- That's- That's a- That's a reference. What do I do, Neo? Okay, so the cook doesn't know what it is. So I'm just gonna confront... What's his face about it? Hey, navigator. Investigating the curse? I hear it happened after dinner. Arg, that be wrong. We went... Okay, so he denies that it's a curse. I talked to the wrong person before. Cursed doll. Easy mistake. Yep, dare try to fish after that. So now I should ask the navi... Hey, since you cooked the meal... What... What's up with that, my dude? Here you cooked the meal. They ate. Let's just accuse him of- Hey, I think you're a nasty person. Blah. I can't even think of a reason why I'd want to poison my own crew. Hey, you. Tell me, what do you think? I hear the captain's thinking of firing that guy. We don't need a navigator because we settled down. Okay, thanks. I hear you cooked the meal. Land lovers, why would I do such a thing? Uh, maybe it's because the captain's thinking of firing you. Uh, I heard the captain was gonna kick me off the through, but you'll never believe. Yeah, I'll just have to prove that you're not sick, actually. I wonder how I'd do that. Just a f mystery how anyone would do that. Yep. Yep. Absolute mystery. Light the driftwood. Ugh. Oh no. Yeah, your cabin's on fire, my dude. 
Yeah, screw you. Arg. Oh. Apparently he knows some magic, too. We'll see what the captain has to say about that. Bum 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 bum. Okay. Hey, captain. Uh, Yuto is not sick. Arg. Kill him. What about my character just agrees, like, Alright, alright, guy needs to die. He's gotta die, he's gotta die, I guess. Back to restock with a new staff. I gotta do this now. Why fire strike? Oh, oh gosh. That. Please just die. Please die. I want this guy to be not alive anymore. I want him to be not alive anymore. Look at my how cool my character is when he does damage, actually. I don't know if this counts as cheating, but his max hit is a 6, which makes me a lot, like, safer feeling. Also, I'm doing pumping out damage. Nobody's business. Okay. This is taking forever. Should I say that I'm going to paint the walls with his blood? Comment below if you think I should paint the walls with his blood, because I'll probably be still be fighting him by the time next time video the next video comes out, because this guy takes forever to kill, apparently. Yes, finally! Oh, there goes my arrow! I only lost like 10 arrows. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to the captain. I've killed I've killed a man today. But it's okay. It was for the good of a crew. A crew who I know pretty pretty poorly actually. I skipped most of the dialogue. I just skimmed it and I don't know anything about them other than, you know, the cabin boy has uh, voice cracks because I said he did. I killed Thank you for dealing with the serpent. Oh! Quest complete! Nice! Alright. Wow, objective complete. I did the three quests I set out to do today, and it didn't even take that long. I'm, I'm very happy with that, actually. So I'll see you later. Okay, let's travel. Oh, I actually forgot to mention, because it's the end of the video, uh, if you like... If you liked this video, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Comment your favorite, uh, comment your favorite free-to-play novice quest now that I've done all but one of them. And if you remember which one I haven't done, you get a cookie. Um, a digital cookie. That doesn't require me to bake a cookie. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, engagement. As always, links that are relevant are in the description. And I appreciate that you watch this video, especially if you hear the part where I tell you to do the engagement. Goodbye, and have a lovely day.